Hello! Um, just a short tutorial video on how to do my barbed wire. Um, somebody's asked me how I make my barbed wire, I thought I'd just give a quick vid on how I do it. It's copied off uh, Rubbish In, Rubbish Out. Um, a long while ago, I watched one of his videos on how he made his barbed wire, so I thought I'd just copied it, adapted it, and now I'll make my own. Which is you know, quite nice and easy, simple. But yeah, if you want to see how it was originally done, Check out Rubbish In, Rubbish Out's channel. Uh, great videos and uh, it's a nice chat too. I'm sure you won't mind me um, sharing this on my channel. Um, so, uh, right, I'll crack on with it. Ideally, you're going to want silver wire. It just saves you uh, spraying this uh, copper wire up, but I get this copper wire from work. It doesn't cost me anything, so... Basically, you're going to want it in two strips of about no shorter than two foot and then loop it together at one end like so leaving the other ends free now this end you'll put in, to put in a vise or you can tie it around a screw and screw it to a, a piece of wood that's not going to move then the other end that you've um, looped to put that into a battery drill with the other two ends in the vice, you then obviously press the battery drill. Press the, press the trigger, rather, on the battery drill, should I say. Which then ends up like this. And it doesn't look like barbed wire at the minute, but it will do. <laughs> and it all the way along your two foot length. Or three, four, wherever long you want to do it, is all coiled up. Then, this is just a bit rough. This one, um, you wrap it round some um, tube or a pen, a pencil, or something similar that's cylinder shaped to give you your barbed wire rolled look. Um, depending on how tightly you wrap it depending on uh, how it comes out, whether it will come out closely together or you know, a bit gappy. It's your preference really and how you want it. Obviously you snip these um, ends off to make it neat. Then I spray it silver. Well I have to spray it silver. You don't have to spray it silver if you've already got silver wire. Um, you see, already you can see it's beginning to look you know, like a piece of barbed wire. Then, you get a piece of ply or MDF. I do mine in six inch lengths. It's up to you what you do yours in. Um, I like to have uh, wooden pegs and posts in between my barbed wire. Um, what I normally do is I put a little bit of blue tack on where I want my first peg to go or post, which you can either use matchstick, cocktail stick, whatever. Some PVA on it. And stick it in. Now with a brush, just spread it over the blue tack as well, sealing it all on and all together. Obviously, you go along your um, piece of MDF wood. So you've got four, three, or whatever. How many you want? Um, depending on what you wrap your barbed wire around and how small it is, it depends on the scale that you want to use, whether it be 28mm or 15mm. Oh, so imagine if you've got some around something really tight, you could be down to 10 or 6mm. And then the next stage would be to um, attach your barbed wire to the pegs and the base, like so. Now, this one I've done for bolt action 28mm, so just for scale. Got a figure to show you. It's stuck down, these, these look wet, but they're not actually wet. That is super glue. Where it's um, touching the base, I put blobs of super glue on. Now, obviously, you can use a PVA or hot glue gun or whatever glue you like. It's up to you. Uh, I use a super glue because it's a really good, strong bond. And then obviously this is then PVA'd 
and put into a, a tub of a sand and grit mix and then painted brown and dry brushed and flocked to give this, this look but this was a smaller one, this is for Flames of War 15 mil just to give you an idea of uh, you can get it smaller depending on what you um, wrap it round but basically that's how I do in barn wire nice and easy not too much hard work and it's uh, thanks to Rubbish In Rubbish Out where you first shown how to do it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Bye bye.